it turns out, the uh, spring weather here in Wisconsin can be a uh, fickle mistress. We, for the past couple weeks, have had mid 60s, low 70s, um, but then the bottom fell out. So it's now like 45 degrees and windy. Rain's supposed to start here in the next hour or two. Um, then it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, same temperatures. I don't think we're going to be doing much fishing this weekend, if any. Uh, I did just buy a new tackle box for the boat, and I moved everything out of my old tackle box into the new one. Um, but then I realized I don't have a small enough bag to take with me if I want to just run down to the river and do some bank fishing. So, saw online that one of the nicer subdivisions on the south side of Janesville is having like a community-wide rummage sale today. So I'm thinking about heading down there to see if we can find some fishing stuff to rebuild a sort of river bank fishing box um, because the Plano box that I built, I'm not carrying that thing around. It is meant for the boat. So, um, hit the bank. Hit these garage sales, maybe Walmart if I can't find anything because uh, I definitely need to put together some sort of portable tackle box. So stay tuned. So on my way to the bank, I decided to uh, try and set a budget for this box. Um, not always the best at that, especially when it comes to fishing tackle. Um, I spend way more money than I need to or probably should. Um, but I've decided I'm going to put this together for hopefully less than $60. That was a bust. Um, I just drove around this neighborhood for like 30 minutes. I stopped at a couple. There was one that was kind of cool. It was like a whole estate sale. Um, they were selling everything. Um, but no fishing gear. A lot of baby clothes. Uh, and I'm not having any babies yet. So... Yeah, sort of a bust, but it was worth a look because you never know what you're going to find. So I guess we're off to the store to try and put together this tackle box. So many choices. I already got some. Had to wait for some people to leave the aisle. Alright, I need both hands. So I just got out of Walmart. That was really awkward trying to film in there. There were so many people. Um, I did bring you out for a short second while I was back in the fishing aisle. Um, but, and while this isn't going to seem like it when you look at the receipt, because I did spend over $60, but there's about 5 or $6 of other stuff that is not for this tackle box. I spent $65.95. All right, so here is everything that I just got for $65 at Walmart. It's quite extensive. That's a lot of stuff. Um, let's go through some of it. All right. So first off, after that last trip, I felt bad for the wife, so I got her two beetle spins, and then I found the world's smallest crankbait. So I think I'm gonna do a challenge video, me versus the wife, where one of us uses this exclusively, um, where the other has the ability to use whatever whatever they want out of either any tackle box, really. Um, th this thing is seriously tiny. Um, it's got a tiny little single treble hook on the back. Uh, it is a cream, king of baits, fishing favorites. I don't know. But I saw it and it was like two bucks. So I was like, yeah, that might make an interesting video. So that accounts for that extra five bucks right there. So, All right. Now let's get into what I bought 
and I'm going to be, I know I said I was going to give this bag away um, at 75 subscribers, but at the rate we're going, it's going to take us a year to get there. So uh, I've decided I'm just going to use it. Um, by the time we get there, I'll probably have something else that I can give away. Um, but this is a Cabela's uh, lumbar pack. It's like a fanny pack. Um, I figured it would be really good for the uh, what I'm trying to do here. So, all right, let's start with got just some cheap forceps and a little line clipper um, just so I don't have to bring my good ones because uh, really I just want this to be sort of a grab-and-go bag or something that I can just throw in the back of my truck uh, next we got various sizes and colors of jig heads primarily fish jigs um, with twister tails and swim baits in the river because uh, they'll catch literally every fish in the river uh, so there's those uh, assorted plastics, twisty tail minnows, the chartreuse uh, grub, white grubs, um, white swim bait bodies, more white sort of twister tail shad bodies, a more natural curly tail shad, um, some chartreuse and white. This should be really good for white bass. Uh, which I think are starting to run. Um, so there's those. So we covered the jigs. Um, now let's get into the hard baits or harder baits. Um, I did buy two beetle spins for this box um, just because they were so effective the other day. Um, I've hardly ever used a beetle spin, but I mean, they seem to work and I can't see why they wouldn't work in the river as well so uh, bought a black and white one um, two one eighth ounce rooster tail inline spinners classic river bait once again will catch everything uh, the must have for river smallies the rebel craw um, I've got so many smallmouth on these it's ridiculous um, also another must have the classic Rapala Husky Jerk. Uh, this is the HJ8. Uh, dives four to six feet. Always good to have a good jerk bait. Um, caught northerns, walleyes, smallmouth. Once again, it's the, just sort of an all purpose bait. So, that. Um, now we hit the budget cranks. Um, I was looking at buying maybe some shad wraps or something a little more expensive and then I realized this is my river bag uh, and I'm gonna lose most of these so at Walmart they had this box of these cotton cordell crankbaits for $1.96 each I've used these before I know they're not the best quality but with the current in the river it doesn't matter if they don't run perfectly true um, so I just grabbed I think five of them here um, in varying colors, shapes, and sizes. Uh, so to start off, we got two lipless cranks. Um, sound pretty good. Uh, I've used these specifically before, and they actually do perform pretty well. Uh, we got a more natural, and then we got the chartreuse. This would be good for uh, northerns. Uh, we got some deeper diving ones. This one just looks kind of cool. It looks a lot more well put together than any of the other ones. Um, sort of a shad wrap looking thing. Um, big eye, big bill. So, and if I lose them, it was only two bucks. Um, another shad wrap looking one. Uh, a little bit of a chartreuse from white with a black back. And then two square bill cranks. Uh, one in like a chartreuse fire tiger pattern and one just a more neutral shad. Um, so yeah, 60 bucks. I'm pretty confident in this uh, whole kit. Um, and I should be able to fit it all in this bag with some room for more so I can uh, steal from the main box, which I'll grab it and you'll see why I needed this other bag. Ugh. Oh, lost my light. It's this behemoth right here. Um, we decided to just go with a boat box to uh, keep most of our baits. Um, 
need to buy more baits though, because I still have the only one of these trays I've filled up is my crankbait tray. But other than that, I think I still have one that's completely empty. So I'm gonna have to uh, start saving some money and uh, filling that up. So I'm gonna put this all away. It looks like the rain may hold off for a little while. We might go fishing. What's up guys, it's uh, Sunday, April 30th, uh, supposed to rain all day, but I just checked the weather and it looks like I got a couple of hours uh, until it actually starts, so I'm going to carry this video on over from yesterday and actually go try out the new river bag. Um, the conditions are terrible, um, it's about 40 degrees and windy, um, it's cold. Uh, so I bundled all up. Kelly decided she didn't want to go. Um, so yeah, we're. I don't expect to catch much, but you never know. So uh, we're gonna take one rod, the new tackle bag that we put together yesterday, and head down to the river and see if we can uh, catch something. One thing that I need to do though is I need to figure out a situation with gloves. Um, I know myself, and I know that cold hands will essentially render me useless. So um, I'm going to figure something out here and then we'll hit the road. That's why you buy two dollar crankbaits. Check out all these baits I just pulled out. Score. <laughs> Whole bunch of jig heads. Couple real nice cranks. A flicker shed. I don't know what this is. Looks like a bomber. Oh yeah. We scored big on that one. We'll take that home and uh, cut her loose. 
Today's not a total bust. I spotted some more river treasure in this little tree over here. We're gonna go try and grab it. Man, are my hands cold. Three baits. That's a fish. Oh, it's in the current. Big fat freshwater drum. Decent fish. What he was doing eating that, I don't know. All right, so I fished about an hour, caught that one drum, and that awesome ball of line that has like four crankbaits and a whole bunch of jig heads in it. Uh, I'm not real sure everything that's in there, uh, but I'll cut it all loose when I get home here. Uh, see what kind of free baits I got. The river giveth and taketh away. So, uh, yeah. We got some fishing in. I will tell you my hands are freezing, like they're burning now that I'm back in the truck. Um, we caught a decent drum. Uh, I didn't see any uh, good fish caught. One guy down the bank from me caught a big carp. Um, so yeah, we caught a fish. Two for two on videos with fish in them. So this is a fishing channel after all, so we should probably keep up that trend so like comment subscribe and let's go see what's in this bait ball So I just got done taking that all apart. Um, not a real big haul, but there is still some usable stuff that I managed to salvage from it. Um, most of the hooks are shot, um, but I pulled out some jig heads here with the assorted twister tails on them. Um, these are all just going to be garbage because they're all rusted out. Um, pulled out three crankbaits, two flicker shads, and a rapala. Um, sorry, I got the shadow from the camera in the shot. Um, and this is the jig head I pulled out of that tree on the shore. Uh, also, I have like a 12 inch wire leader, which appears to be in good shape, and a couple sinkers. All in all, not a bad haul for uh, yanking it off the bottom of the river. Uh, makes up for some of the baits that the river has taken from me. Um, I'll replace the hooks on the crankbaits and we'll throw them in the tackle box. So, yeah. Decent day for it being so cold and rainy.